What's up guys, today we're going to be going over the new Raid Hand Cannon, the Posterity, and we will be breaking down all the different perks on this weapon and going over the God Roll, and overall why I think it's the best PvE Hand Cannon in the game right now, and why for the first time in pretty much a year, I'm finally excited about a Hand Cannon again in PvE. And before we get into the video, my G Fuel Code Air will be 30% off through the 7th. You guys have been killing it with my G Fuel Code since I got partnered with them, so let's try to keep it up, and if you guys want to try something new, this will be the best opportunity, or you can even get G Fuel as a gift for a friend or family member for the holidays. Anyways, go ahead and click the link in the comments in the description and that will take you to their store and automatically apply my discount code. Anyways, let's begin with the video. So it seems like it's been a very long time since we've had a good hand cannon to talk about in PvE. The previous season we had the Ikelos hand cannon, which was a 180 RPM and at the time 180s were pretty bad, especially compared to 150s, and it didn't really have that many good rolls. Same with the Seraph Revolver. Both of these were 180s and didn't really have any good rolls. Yes, they made Warmind Cells, but that was pretty much it. Then in the previous seasons, we also had Dire Promise, a part of the roll drop pool. And that one was pretty good, but once again, not any great rolls for PvE, mostly a PvP weapon. So we pretty much have to go back to Season of Dawn with the Drag Queen King 3, which was pretty much the most recent hand cannon that came out that I actually used in PvE. And that wasn't even that good, to be honest. I used it for a few days and was like... Yeah, back to sidearms. So to be honest, the last two hand cannons I actually used in PvE were Trust, then the Kindred Orchid, both of which have been sunset already, along with pretty much all the fan favorite hand cannons in the game to be honest. So recently in terms of hand cannons, there hasn't been much to be excited about, but that changes with the red hand cannon, the Posterity. This one has all kinds of really good rolls, and for the first time in a very long time, I'm actually excited to use a hand cannon in PvE again, if I could get one on my account, because I haven't even gotten a single one yet on my account. But looking at the perks, there are all kinds of good perks in the left and right column on this weapon. And in this video, we'll be breaking down the top picks in both slots and be going over the overall god roll for the weapon. Starting with the left column, the one I want to mention first is Killing Wind. Final Blows grant increased mobility, weapon range, and handling for a short duration. And this perk will pretty much be up at all times on a primary. And we went over this perk on the sidearm recently. And the range increase isn't that much. It's roughly 1 meter which definitely won't be make or break for the range on this weapon, but it is noticeable and better than nothing. So if you're not a person that needs a reload perk and you run hand cannon loader pretty much all the time, this is a pretty solid pick. But I think there's gonna be a lot better options in left slot, for example, Feeding Frenzy. This is gonna be the worst reload perk in my opinion. After the nerf to this perk, you have to get times five to get the max reload speed. And to get stacks, you just need kills in general, not precision kills, so that is a plus, I guess. But the only thing it does is reload and you need times 5 to get the max reload speed. And there's been a couple other reload perks on this weapon that do more than just reload. And that's why I think Feeding Frenzy is the worst reload perk on the weapon. And a better one, for example, would be Reconstruction. This weapon slowly reloads itself over time up to double capacity. And we purposely make our magazine as big as possible with a 19 magazine. Pretty much what happens every 4 seconds, we get 2 ammo from the reserves back into the magazine. And over time, eventually, the magazine will double all the way to 38. So this perk is pretty much like clown cartridge paired with auto-loading at the same time, and will constantly reload those two bullets every 4 seconds. So if you're not using the hand cannon like all the time non-stop, this will pretty much be the best perk in the left column, because you'll start most encounters with 30 to 40 bullets depending on your magazine size, and over time it'll reload two every 4 seconds. So as long as you're not spamming it, you pretty much never have to reload. But overall, the best perk in left column, in my opinion, will be Rapid Hit, which will be a lot like Feeding Frenzy, where it'll stack up to times 5, but this one requires precision hits, not kills, just hits. And just like Feeding Frenzy, it'll max out the reload speed of the weapon, but more importantly, it'll also give you stability. So for all the controller players out there, this will be pretty much the best perk for the weapon, because one, it gives you max reload, and then two, it gives you really good stability. And even for the mouse and keyboard players, I would still recommend Rapid Hit as the best reload perk. Then an honorable mention that I don't have on any of my friends' accounts will be Surplus. This will work a lot like Rapid Hit, but instead of needing precision hits, it's gonna be with your abilities. The strength of the perk will be based on how many abilities you have, so if you don't really spam your abilities, that will be pretty good and be Rapid Hit pretty much at all times. Now we look at the perks in the right column, starting with the new one, Redirection. Damaging rank and file combatants increases damage against more powerful ones. So pretty much how this perk works is every single time you hit a red bar, you'll get one stack of Redirection, and this will stack all the way up to times 20 and there is no timer on the buff. Once you have a stack, it stays forever until you hit a Major or Ultra. And you can even swap weapons and it will not lose the perk. So pretty much you have the perk forever until you shoot a powerful enemy. And when you do, it will consume 5 stacks of Redirection per bullet. 
If you have less than five, it will consume all of them. And those bullets will be doing double damage when it consumes five stacks at a time. So that is pretty good, you know. Double damage for four shots when you have redirection times 20 on a major. That is pretty good. So in general, I really like the concept of this perk, but it's only on a hand cannon and a scout rifle right now. And to be honest, when you're playing the game, you're not going to be using a hand cannon and scout versus majors that often in general play. So if you're doing something with a lot of majors, I can see that perk being very useful. But for just general play, I think there's better damage perks. For example, Rampage plus Rampage Spec. And this is obviously the old classic damage perk. Everyone knows what it does. It's going to be 11% per stack, so at times 3, 33%. Then with Rampage Spec, it lasts for 4.5 seconds, so it's very easy to maintain and keep the perk going. And overall, Rampage is exactly what you need a damage perk to be. It's pretty much always there, and 33%, which is pretty average for damage buff. So for the vanilla Destiny 2 players, this will pretty much be like the god roll for them, because it's going to kind of feel like that old Midnight Coup. Another perk this weapon can get is going to be Demolitionist, which will be the only non-damage perk in the right column I'll be talking about. And how this one works is when you get kills, you get grenade energy back, and then when you throw a grenade, it'll reload the weapon from reserves. So obviously this will be the best for someone like me that uses a lot of builds that spam abilities. And for example, if I had this exact role on my account, which is killing win and demo, I'd probably run this with the build I uploaded yesterday. And pretty much when you freeze enemies, you just need to shoot them to shatter them. So you don't really need like a damage perk or something like that. So using demo to get more grenade energy would work well with that build, just like I was using the wellspring weapons in that build. And one thing I want to correct about that video, after I went live, I noticed that the hidden perk is coming from the ice flare bolts aspect itself and not the fragment. The fragment does enhance the way the combo works, but the hidden perk is definitely coming from the ice flare bolts aspect on warlock. So unfortunately you cannot do that on other characters as if the Warlock Stasis subclass needed more reasons to be better than the other ones. So unfortunately, it only works on Warlock, but I mean, who doesn't play Warlock? Let's be real. And back to Demolitionist, another thing that makes Demo on Stasis pretty viable is the fact that if you are running the fragment that gives you a 25% buff after you freeze a target, that buff will last for 10 seconds and work on all of your weapons. So that's going to make this hand cannon more or less feel like it has a ring page perk even though it doesn't. So if you're playing Stasis, using Demo is a very good option. And finally, the last perk in the right column, which I think is the best, is going to be one for all. Hitting three separate targets increases damage for a moderate duration. So how this perk works is when you hit an enemy, you get one for all, and eventually it'll go away. If you shoot two, you'll get times two. And pretty much how it works is you have to hit three different enemies, not kill, just hit three enemies within a short duration, and you get the actual perk one for all for 10 seconds. And that's going to be a 35% increase, so a little bit higher than Rampage and lasts for 10 seconds, which is over double that of Rampage. And it doesn't even require kills. All you have to do is hit three different enemies to get the perk going. So overall, One For All is definitely the best damage perk pretty much in the entire game right now. It's Rampage, but better. And where it really shines is gonna be harder content, where keeping a perk like Rampage going and chaining is gonna be a lot harder. But with One For All, all you have to do is hit three targets to get the perk going, which means you're gonna have that perk pretty much all the time, unlike Rampage, where you're not gonna be able to chain kills and get the stack higher and higher. So overall, One For All is definitely the best perk in the right column. I would say the second best choice would be Demolitionist if you're using ability spam build. Then the left column, there's all kinds of really good perks. I would say the best is gonna be Rapid Hit, then followed up by Reconstruction. So overall, I'd say the two god rolls I'd be looking for on this weapon are gonna be either Rapid Hit or Reconstruction and One For All, then Killing Win and Demolitionist. And the reason I want Killing Win with Demo is because with Demo, you can throw a grenade to reload the weapon, which means you don't really need a reload perk, and using Killing Win for the extra range will help a little bit more. Anyways, I'm a huge fan of this hand cannon. I think 180s right now are in the best spot they've ever been, and they're a lot better now because of the mag increase. Before, they took the most bullets to kill enemies and had the lowest mag size, so they were pretty much useless especially compared to 150s with lightweight, but now that 150s are 140s and don't have lightweight anymore, that kind of gives breathing room to the 180s in my opinion and makes them feel pretty usable. And given the fact that with any of these damage perks, especially on stasis with the damage boost, you're going to be easy one-hitting every red bar anyways, so taking advantage of that quicker rate of fire with 180 is just really nice. And that's why for the first time pretty much in over a year, I'm finally excited to use a PV hand cannon. So once I get the Raid Slug, I'm definitely going to be farming for his hand cannon on my account. 
And if you want to know how to farm raid loot as fast as possible, I made a video on that. And I can go ahead and link that in the description. Anyways, that's going to be it for the video. Make sure to use my code ERROR. It's going to be 30% off once you fuel through the 7th. If you ever want to support me outside of just watching my videos, that will be the best way. So go ahead and get yourself something nice and support me a little bit along the way. Anyways, thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time.